Hello everyone. Uh, today I am going to show you how to pass parameter to our PLSQL cursor. So I'll be using uh, for this program I will using two uh, two table. One table is employee master, another table is employee salary. So let us first look at the table. And from this employee uh, master, I will take the three columns. One is EMP underscore ID, one is EMP underscore name, and one is EMP underscore sal uh, EMP underscore code. And from employee salary, I will take um, uh, gross pay and net pay and basic. Okay, so let us check. Uh, this is the basic here, and from here, let us find out the cross pay. This is the cross pay. This is the cross pay, and this is the net pay. I'll take this three field. So let us start with the program. Okay, uh, I'll be using for loop here, and I want to make the program simple and no. Uh, use of open cursor, close cursor, or exit when condition. Okay, so declare first one is the cursor EMP red is select EMP ID EMP name and oh sorry EMP ah EMP code from employee. Okay, this is a simple uh, one simple cursor. The next cursor will be the parameter cursor. This cursor EMP cell rate is okay, cell rate EMP ID number and month year watcher okay, is select uh, basic gross pay net pay from employee salary where EMP ID equal to I'll just pass the parameter the EMP ID here and pay month year equal to month year Okay, so <coughs> you can see this month year is actually the month year here. This month year and the EMP ID is so the parameter I'm passing is using in the where, where clause. Okay, so pay month year I, I don't uh, told, uh, I haven't uh, told you when I'm just explaining the employee salary. I'm, I've taken basic cross pay and net pay in the select field and in the condition I'm using the pay month year. Which is and EMP underscore ID is also okay. So let us once check once again. Okay, so here you see in the employee salary, you will find one P month year and one EMP ID, which is the reference. Here is the EMP ID, it is the reference or foreign key of the master table which is employee salary and there is the uh, you will find one P month year ok uh, let us uh, just turn this time uh, we can just find out see in the program whether it is working now ok so this is my cursor with parameter begin and my first for loop will be for the EMP rate in EMP rate loop and loop I just first play the block and here what I do for EMP cell rate in EMP cell rate loop and 
in this EMP cell rate, oh sorry, in this EMP cell rate, I will pass <coughs> the EMP rate dot EMP ID. Okay, since I, I've been entering the loop, okay, so <coughs> after I enter the first loop, I can use the VMP underscore <coughs> variable and I, I can use the column which I've been used here, EMP ID. Okay, so I'm using EMP ID and for the pay month here, I just pass it. I have one of this value here. Okay, so in the for loop, I am just passing this in the in the cursor in the cursor I'll, I'm passing this to value okay so, I'll do. now I'll just get one DBMS output put line so first I will print the uh, EMP rate sorry dot EMP code B EMP rate dot EMP name V EMP cell rate dot uh, basic V E P cell rate dot raspe V E P cell sorry cell rate dot lift okay so it's all done and let us now check whether it is working. Okay, so you can see this is the EMP code, EMP name, okay, uh, basic, this is cross pay, and this is net pay. So, for your convenience, I will again do something again here. Say, I just add a few stuff like EMP code. Okay, EMP basic. Okay, so set line size. <coughs> okay, so there is a buffer for buffer problem. I am not concerned about that. So this is by for loop. And now let us do one thing. Uh, let us get some stuff. Say, okay, and let us first, uh, I just create the variable and I'll come back after that. So I've declared some variable EMP ID all is of person type. Okay, EMP code, <coughs> EMP ID, EMP code, EMP name, uh, <coughs> basic for uh, employee salary dot basic person type, employee salary dot cross pay dot type person type, employee salary dot net to person type. <coughs> I'll not just change this for loop to a simple one. Open EMP rec and I will remove this one. And uh, here I'll fetch it. Fetch the stone. Okay. 
just copy it okay so I will show you later on the difference so <coughs> uh, <coughs> let us again start from here open OAP rec and loop rec EMP rec into VEMP ID VEMP code and VEMP ok again open V uh, EMP cell break and pass the parameter V EMP ID and 0 1 2 0 1 ok so now again I will just remove this for and fetch uh, just a moment emp cell break into v emp basic v emp cross k and v emp k ok and just change this all this v emp <laughs> V M just V E M P code. Okay. Code V E M P name V M P or what are the variables? V M P basic. V E M P Rasp. VMP I uh, hope uh, this is and we, are, we, are, we also have to do this one exit when <coughs> uh, EMP rate percent low count equal to zero and in the outer loop okay yeah, this will be here and in the inner loop should be EMP cell underscore break equal to zero. I hope there is no error. Okay, there is some spelling mistake, I think. Add the string buffer to small. Just, <coughs> Just let me check out. Line number 14. Okay, <coughs> I've just changed the order here. I've just <laughs> put the EMP name before and EMP code after and here the order is EMP ID, EMP code, EMP name and here in the selection when the order is EMP ID, EMP name and EMP code. I have changed the order and hope for the best. Cursor already open. Okay, I need to close the cursor so you can see what is the disadvantage of using Simple loop cursor. EMP rec and here close EMP cell rec. In the right cursor. Okay, 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 okay. I 
just a moment. Let's just change the order. This change how I've opened the EMP rack first, so I close it on the last, and <coughs> in the inner loop I've opened the EMP cell rack, so I'll close it here. <coughs> okay, so you can see, so this is the <coughs> for the without for loop, and now we split it with for loop, and then there is without for loop. So, uh, as you can see here, uh, there is a for loop. Just a moment. Just let me check out. Yeah. Here, I will remove this slide. So, this is the for loop. Uh, with the for loop here. Okay, so here I am passing the parameter <coughs> for <coughs> VMP cell underscore rate in EMP cell underscore rate. Here VMP underscore rate dot EMP ID and the month here. <coughs> this is the hard coded. And just look into this. The for loop is for loop PLSQ block is so small. It is only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh no, this is one line. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, this is also not required. Okay. Uh, I think I've just made was some mistake here. Okay, so where is the for loop? Yeah, this is the for loop. Sorry, sir. I need to remove this one. Uh, this is not required. Okay, so here see here it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Only ten line. And here it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Okay, so <coughs> this is uh, a, a simple example with uh, cursor using parameter that you can uh, pass parameter of your choice whether it, it is hard coded or whether it is taken from some out some outer loop or <coughs> taken by some user user choice from some interface. <coughs> so I'm done with this and I'll just. Uh, trying to provide this code uh, in my Google Drive so you can uh, understand this. Okay, and I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please please press the like button. You can also subscribe to my channel. That is S C P H R O nine three seven seven six. Thank you very much.